Good morning guys, Bill here from Weeks and Macklin Real Estate showing you how you can ensure that you sell your property in the shortest possible time for the maximum price possible. This is a very simple, simple formula. I call it my sales success formula and it's PMBA. So what on earth is PMBA? Let me get straight into it. P is for presentation. You need to make sure that this is at a premium. Premium presentation equals the best results. It's very straightforward. It's well and truly advised to get involved with agents right at the beginning process when you plan on selling, before you've done anything to your property so that we can advise you on what things you can do, what things you should do, and what things are maybe a question mark. Next is M, marketing. This is very important. You cannot sell a secret. You need to make sure that your property is marketed well to make sure that you engage with everybody in the marketplace that's looking for a property like yours so they know to come and check it out. Number three, buyer competition. Everything in life is supply versus demand. Without buyer competition, we don't have that energy in the atmosphere in order to get to number four, which is agent negotiation. So let me run through all of this. We need premium presentation, we need premium maximum market exposure, we need maximum buyer competition, and we need an agent that knows how to negotiate, an agent that knows how to deal with objectives which do come up from time to time with buyers. Someone has the scripts, dialogues, but also someone just with the, the common sense and common knowledge to be able to make buyers feel at ease when they're carrying out a transaction. And I'll give you a quick example of this. Let's say, for example, we've got a property and the asking range is 400 to 420. And often buyers will come in and go, what's the lowest price? Now, some agents will end up buying for 400,000, but if you give me an offer around 390, I'll give it a try. That is not how you negotiate. The worst thing you can do. Another agent might say, well, I've personally appraised this property at above that $400,000 figure, and I may have actually under it because it's been very popular in the marketplace. I've actually got multiple people interested in this property. So the question you should be asking yourself is not necessarily what's the absolute lowest price you can buy this property for, but how do you as a buyer make sure that you secure this property over somebody else? And what I'll tell you to do is to make sure that when you make me an offer on this property, because there are other parties interested, that you give me your best and final offer. A figure that were the owners to say no to you, you wouldn't get upset with myself for not giving you a chance, but more importantly, you wouldn't get upset with yourself for missing out over, say, a few thousand dollars. So whatever that maximum price is that you're willing to pay, it's not a question of if this property is going to sell, it's a question of who it's going to sell to. If you want to put yourself in the driver's seat, make sure that you give me your best and highest final figure because you may not get a second chance. Now, can you see the difference between two lots of dialogue? One lot of dialogue is basically saying, just, just give me an offer, give it a crack, give it a crack. The other one's basically saying, look, it's not about whether or not I sell the property to you, it's whether or not you are lucky enough to buy the property from me. So you need to make sure you get each one of these correct because with each one of these correct and lined up, you will ensure that you receive maximum market price for your property. Any questions, give me a call. Bjorn 0404 164 447, Weeks of Macklin. It's grand final weekend. We've got the Crows versus Richmond. Let's hope it's a good tight game. And come on South Australia, come on the Crows.